just when I thought my game was done and realized I need to add more polish and I need to add more stuff and I need to do this and yeah and here I am adding more things to my indie game. Hi everyone and welcome back if you're new. Uh, I am a game developer, been doing it for eight years and I'm currently working on a first person shooter zombie game. Just a quick reminder before I continue in the game dev blog, um, if you guys want to support my game dev blog, make sure to check out my Patreon on the link below. Um, I'm doing more things on Patreon. I'm also adding different reward systems and other videos that you can check out. All right, on to the video. One common suggestion I got was to add a damage number system. And what I mean by damage is like when you use your axe or you use your crossbow against the enemy. It shows how many damage have you done, but not just regular damage, not just like one or two, just showing like in the 20s or 30s, just to give it more impact and feel to the game. I also added a critical system, so it's usually pretty random. So between, uh, let's say, your example, something between 20 or 40, right? 40 would be critical, or anything above 37 would be critical and above, right? Maximum is 40. So you can show and display that in a critical system, like a damage number system. When I was last playing the game, I realized it was pretty empty. It didn't have much going on. It was just kind of like an open field sort of thing. So I figured I needed to add a couple more items, like something kind of like an obstacles where you, the player can get in through, right? You kind of have to figure out, oh, how do I pass this? Or how do I deal with these zombies? I can just back up easily, right? I did add a couple of spike traps or I guess spike barricades where the player has to avoid them and move around and but also they can't kind of like go in reverse so if they do they get hit by the spike right uh, also have the zombies doing the damage too as well when they do get hit by the spikes kind of wanted to sneak them up a few of the zombies as well also I added a crawler zombie a crawler zombie would be just one where you can kind of go into and they'll start crawling towards you kind of sneaking up on you also added a crouching system to the game so kind of something where you can kind of crouch down and get into difficult areas. And the idea is to make something challenging and fun to play. And speaking of challenges, I'm almost up with the 30 day challenge of doing this game. Um, I, ideally, I want to finish this by end of July. Um, I could extend it a little bit towards August. So I'm going, I'm probably aiming end of July to have something done. I'm doing this kind of like every day. I'm actually enjoying this process. I'm enjoying this game development. Um, I'm really am having a cool time. Um, I'm probably gonna play a little bit of Half-Life or play a little bit of video games just to get some ideas, kind of like to get the game design and system down, have the fun part down. Um, I know usually when I play video games, I do more analytics than anything. I kind of like test games for ideas and that's actually kind of fun for me. And that is all I have for now, guys. Uh, as always, your feedback is incredibly important to me in this game development that I'm doing. Don't forget to leave any comments below where your thoughts, suggestions, and questions you might have. I love hearing from all you all. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. Don't miss out any future updates in my game development. And that's all I have for now. Thank you all. Bye.